Hello, good morning. How are you? Today, um, happy Wednesday to you. Uh, today is October the uh, 11th, 2017. I've, it's been on my heart for a while. This is yours truly, your sister, your friend, uh, Olushola Taiwo. It's been on my heart for a while to share some scriptures regarding combating fear and anxiety. At one point or the other, we've all gone through this, or we are, some of us are going through this right now, dealing with anxiety, fears, troubles, not able to sleep at night. And I just want to share a testimony about something that happened to me in 2012 and the scriptures that God used to see me through. And they are still scriptures that God uses right now to help me anytime my heart wants to be overcome with fear and anxiety and torment of some sort. Okay. All right, so let's look at uh, the very first one that he really solidified in me. Isaiah 41, 10. It says, Fear not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. This is my God speaking to me and telling me that I should not fear. Anytime my heart would start to be filled with trepidation and flutter and be concerned about cares and worries, this scripture, God really used it for me. In 2012, February, um, we had a house fire. I was upstairs in my bedroom um, uploading videos on uh, YouTube, Facebook for our dance team that I was coaching. I had coached a dance team for years, weapons with two W's, worshiping warriors, exercising authority, professing our nation's savior. We're on YouTube actually on a, on a channel called As Holly T, A-S-H-O-L-L-Y-T-E-E, -E, As Holly T. If you look us up on YouTube, I have a lot of the dance videos from the dance team posted there. But um, I was uploading videos, instructional videos for the team, choreography videos, so that they could learn the dance uh, moves before practice on Thursday. I believe this fire was on a Tuesday. And um, winter, February 2012, can never forget. And then I realized I was hungry. So I quickly went downstairs to start frying plantain doo-doo. And um, I left the oil on the pan and I went back upstairs to check something with one of the videos and I forgot that I was frying plantain and the kitchen caught on fire. It didn't burn down but the wall caught on fire. There was smoke damage and I was so traumatized because I almost went into the shower to start taking a shower because I totally forgot about the oil on the stove. And um, what ensued was three months of dealing with insurance company, contractors, kitchen cabinet contractors, electrical contractor, tiling contractor, um, you name it. I had to, because they had to rebuild and redo part of the house, and especially the whole kitchen, and it was so much work. In the natural, I was alone because I had to deal with multiple contractors by myself, and I had never done this before. But in the spirit, I was not alone because my father was with me, my heavenly father, and he saw me through the negotiations, the hardballing, uh, through a lot of pain and struggle because I did not know how to, I had never done this before and I had to negotiate and I had to fight to get what was ours and I didn't want to fight because I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> but God has been teaching me to make war his way. So he used the scripture to calm my heart. Anytime I would have to get on the phone with the contractor, he'd say, fear not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. Ah, when God is your God, when the maker of the universe is your God, you are not alone because he is upholding you. He said, I will strengthen thee. I could li literally feel courage entering into my heart. Anytime I'd hear these scriptures, because my heart used to beat, I lost so much weight during that time. I was in a very stressful job that I disliked intensely. And during this time, I actually ended up getting 
released from that position uh, honorably and blessed with multiple weeks of uh, severance pay. Um, and I had more time to deal with contractors. And so, but God, through the trauma of my job, through the trauma of the fire, and um, he would tell me, I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. It's like I'm in his hand and he's holding me. Oh yeah, Shola, talk to the electrical contractor. Talk to the kitchen cabinet person. I got you. I got you. I am upholding you. That's how God helped me throughout that time. And up until now, anytime I'm going through something that is causing me to start to feel anxious, this is my default scripture. Psalm, Isaiah 41 verse 10. Here is another one that he also used to help me. This one was actually my go-to-sleep scripture because after battling all day and being so weary, I'll be tired. And my thoughts, you know when thoughts are bombarding your head, thoughts of anxiety, and you're lying down, you want to sleep, but you can't sleep because there's so many details going through your mind and so many things that you're feeling like you haven't handled or just stress. There's the scripture. It's in John. John chapter 14, verse 27. And he would speak to my heart and say, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Ah, go say this to me. Let not. Oh, my goodness. That means it's in my control. Ouch, my out my my eye is itchy this morning. Okay, here we go. It says, Peace I leave with you. I would literally this is my Bible. <laughs> this is my tattered Bible. This is Isaiah 14 20. I mean, sorry, John 14 27. Right there. Yellow highlight aqua blue sticky pointing to it so that I can find it very quickly. Well, now that my Bible is in pieces, it's literally the last page that I can find it very quickly. <laughs> and um, so it says, peace I leave with you. My peace. It's not the world's peace. It's not fake peace. God's own peace. The Prince of Peace himself is speaking to me. It's in red letters. If you notice, it's in red letters. That means it's Jesus actually saying this. So I would hold this. I would look at it and I'll put it on my chest. And I would say, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. I'll close my eyes, lay on my back. And I'll be saying this scripture to myself over and over again. And then I'll fall asleep. Because I needed to hear my Savior speak peace to my heart. So if you're going through turmoil, anxiety, difficulty, here is a word for you to just literally, you can feel like drops, huge, giant raindrops of peace are going blop, blop, blop on my heart, in my soul, in my mind, in my body. And I can feel the tension dissipating and oozing out and just goodness and peace just flowing all over me. This is what this scripture, this scripture, John 14, 27, this is what this scripture did for me. And this was how I was able to sleep through all that hard time. There is another one, <laughs> another word that God gave to me that just fills me with so much peace. And this how also had to do with that time of battle with the insurance company and the contractors, but also battle with anything. It could be a wicked boss, a nasty coworker, strife in your family. It could be anything, any kind of difficulty. And it says, the Lord is, it's all oh, Psalm 27 verses one through three. <laughs> this is it right here. Psalm 27, pink highlighter, blue asterisk. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom? 
Tani Maberu. <laughs> Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Oluwani imole mi ati igbala mi. Tani Maberu. Oluwani agbara emi mi. Tani Maberu. That's your vow. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? It's and then I hear myself answering, No one. Koseni koko. No one. When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. And I would hear myself say, though insurance company, though contractors shall come up against me, though they shall rise up against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident because the Lord is my light and my salvation. He's the one that keeps me from fearing. He's the one that holds my heart, that holds my soul, that holds my mind, that holds my body. Back then, I when I, when I would be in fear, I'd be going to the bathroom, diarrhea instantly, constantly. Imodium became my friend <laughs> uh, to try and stop the diarrhea. But then when the scripture, when I started to get a hold of these scriptures, they you would anchor my soul anchor my mind and put it in a place of rest and I, I carry these things everywhere with me and I just keep saying and then I wrote them on cue cards the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear I would say these scriptures over and over again to myself then I drive my minivan and go up and deal with contractor and go up and deal and negotiate and this helps me so much so I just want to say you know what? The Lord is your strength. He is your light. He is your life. He is your salvation. He is your hope. He is your peace, just like he is mine as well. And these scriptures can be a comfort to you. The final ones that I'm going to leave with you, Psalm 23, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. That's another scripture that anchored my soul. Joshua chapter 1, verse 6a, verse 7a, verse 9, and verse 19b. That says, be strong and of a good courage. Be strong and courageous. In four different places it said, be strong and of a good courage. As soon as I would say those to myself, courage would enter into my heart to do whatever I needed to do. Amen. I bless you. Have an awesome day. Bye for now. Sign out. Next time, I'm looking, there's another um, thing that we're going to talk about that deals with fear, and it's a song. Okay, I'm going to sing a song for you, and we're going to break it down. Look forward to sharing that with you. Look out for it on my channel, uh, Olushola Live on YouTube. Olushola Live. Bye for now.